you don't like me, say it to my face. I don't give up for what you say. <laughs> so cute. Mm -hmm. I am living for this lime green. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mia. So today is a bit of a get ready with me, chit chat, catch up on life. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a video for you guys and I just wanted to sit down and do a fun little look. I am playing with my Melt palette. This is the Vita palette. It's one half of the Amore Eterno palette, which is right over here. If you haven't heard about this palette, have you been living under a rock? Honestly. How beautiful is this? And then the story behind it about how the, I believe like the co-owner co wanted to um, pay tribute to where she's from and her heritage and her family in Mexico. Like it's awesome, it's so cool. So I decided to play with the Vita palette, meaning life, and I just love what I came up with. I used to be afraid to play with color and now I'm just like, give me all the colors. Let's play, let's have a good time. So I love this look. I have a lot to say in this video, so grab a snack, grab some food, get comfortable, okay? Grab your dog, I don't know. If you wanna see how I achieved this look and you know, what's new, what's been happening in my world lately, then just keep on watching. I was having some camera issues, what else is new? But just in case it didn't pick up the first time, I am using one half of the Amore Eterno palette by Melt Cosmetics. This is the Vita palette, meaning life. And I'm gonna go in with this pretty shade right here called Papel Picado. <coughs> I'm so sorry. And it is this really pretty, just pow lime green shade and I'm gonna use it on my Morphe M330 brush as part of my transition. Now, what I was saying before my camera decided to have issues was that Melt Cosmetics is known for having really great, really pigmented shadows. So take your time when you are applying any of their shadows. A little goes a long way, trust me. So I'm just going to blend that out. I want this green to be vibrant, but I just don't want to do too much, like, and just pile, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I just, I want it to be I want it to be a pretty pow green glam. That's pretty much what we're going for here. It is an Arctic chill outside. Can't go into work. Not complaining, not complaining. I have the time, but you know, first world problems. So I just decided that I would film for you guys instead because it's been a hot minute. My last video was my Gymshark haul, but now it's back to business, back to makeup. And oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. I got a, it's, I think it's called like a stabilizer. It's basically a tripod so I can start doing vlogs now. I'm so excited. I tried to film my first vlog recently and it didn't work out. I just wasn't having the best day. I got, it was, ugh, it was just, yeah. I probably should have filmed it, you know, just to kind of show people, hey, you know, we're not happy all the time, but it just, it didn't work out. And plus this stabilizer mini tripod thing wasn't working out, but now we have it and we're ready to go and I'm ready to film vlogs for you guys. So you can kind of see a little bit more of my daily life, my family life, my personality. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to start vlogging. Mia's world, you know? I'm in the middle of re-watching Criminal Minds. This is the second time that I have been re-binging the show. Mom thinks I'm crazy. She's not a big like crime show junkie, but I was just in the mood for something scary one day and decided to put on Criminal Minds. Absolutely fell in love with it. Netflix only has 12 seasons on it, on online, and there's 15 seasons, and I know that they just started they just started filming or showing the final season. So I'm just like, yo, I'm three seasons behind and I wanna know how this is all gonna come to a screeching end. Who do I gotta talk to at the Netflix corporate offices about airing the remaining seasons of the show, you know? But I know that there's a bunch of other new shows that I probably should look into because like everyone and their mother is talking about the show You with Penn Badgley. And I know that season three is on its, on its way. Honestly, I'm just waiting for Stranger Things to come back into my life. I miss that show. I miss 
those gorgeous, beautiful kids and the craziness that goes on in Hawkins, Indiana. Like, put that back into my world, please and thank you. What else is coming soon that I'm so excited for? The sequel to, to, to All the Boys I've Loved Before. I'm ready for it. Love that film. I still watch it from time to time. I think it's such a cute movie. Haven't read the books, which I probably should because I love reading. I did that with The Fall in Our Stars. I did that with Gone Girl. I've done it quite a bit, so I should probably look into reading the books so I just know how it's all going to play out because if she doesn't end up with Peter Kavinsky when this is all said and done, I will riot. I love him. I want my own Peter Kavinsky, okay? Where you at, bro? Honestly, like I barely watch TV. I think like, the only shows I still actively keep up with that aren't a part of streaming services are Grey's, Bachelor, even though both, you can stream both shows, but do you know what I mean? Like they're not like Netflix shows, so to speak. The only shows that I keep up with are Grey's, Bachelor, Siesta Key. Love Siesta Key, okay? If you wanna start a group chat and talk about it, hit me up. And dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Floribama Shore. I love Floribama Shore because I love Jersey Shore. So anything of that same family group, I'm all I'm down. My favorite crazy Florida boys and girls, even though they're not all from Florida, but yeah, I love that show. And then as far as shows that are Netflix only that I am watching, I just started Virgin River. It's basically, it's basically the California version of Heart of Dixie. Girl with medical background comes to small, janky, crusty town and doesn't make friends with the locals at first before they all take to her. And there's a dude there who's gonna fall in love with her. Like, like the work. It's basically Heart of Dixie all over again. They even have the same actor playing the doctor who's like the well-known town doctor that everyone respects and you've just got this young little thing coming in like i'm here to take over you know and he's just like get off my land the works so yeah those are my entertainment updates that's what i'm watching spending my nights binging that and youtube videos of course I have a lot to say. It's been a hot minute since we've spoken. So if you don't like girls who talk too much, then click somewhere else. Thank you. Okay, so now that <clears throat> I'm officially happy, I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. I was sick last week and now I've just got what's left of this pesky little cough and I'm just trying to get rid of it. But she's just, she's lingering, you know? She's like holding on for dear life. Like, no, please let me still infect your throat. And I'm just like, it was a horrible choice of words. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, just go, just go, okay? I don't need you anymore. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply the second shade that I'm using from this palette. This is called Sarape. I think that's how you say it and it's this pretty like shimmery green and I don't think honestly like I could be wrong but I don't think it's gonna pick up well on a brush so I'm gonna use my finger and I'm basically just gonna take it and just pat it all over my lid just so we can just make that green as pow and as intense as possible here we go Oh my gosh. Wow. Do you guys see that? That is intense. Oh man, that's beautiful. Oh no, I wish I did a cut crease and then I could have just... Ugh, Mia, this is what happens when you don't have a game plan, but look at that. Wow. She is pretty. Ooh, she's pretty. Okay, okay, I think I'm doing something. Mm-hmm. And I haven't even like re-dipped. I like put a little bit on my finger and look at how much was able to like melt. I'm telling you, melt cosmetics is slept on and I just don't understand why because the 
eyeshadow quality that they produce for every palette that I've ever purchased from them. Bomb diggity. Okay, that's an old phrase, but I'm bringing it back. Okay, round two. So I'm just like, honestly, this is all I'm doing. Mm, 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 mm. That's it. Get your hands on this palette, okay? If you don't do anything else the rest of this year and this entire decade, get your hands on this palette. Now I'm going to take a brush that doesn't have any pigment on it and I'm just gonna blend everything out so that it looks a lot smoother. This is the M433 brush from Morphe and I'm just gonna take it right up here where both shades meet and just blend it out to kind of soften it up a little bit. I'm gonna move on to my lashes. I can't stop staring. I just, I love it. This may be a lot for some people, which totally understandable. You know, green's not for everyone, but I'm digging it, okay? This is like a sassy St. Patty's Day look I got going here. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to my eyes and then we're just gonna move on to the face. You know the drill, you know the drill. Keep it going. Okay, so before I apply my false lashes, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by Maybelline. Coat my lashes in that before we put on these false lashes. I got like nine new pairs of false lashes. I just blanked out and pulled out the debit card and you know, there we have it. Okie dokie, on to lashes. So I just recently bought some new lashes. These are feline lashes, which I've never tried before, but I've heard really good things. One of my favorite YouTubers in the world, Nazanin Kavari, I saw a YouTube tutorial she did and she was wearing feline lashes and they just looked so good. So I was just like, ooh, let's try these babies out. So <clears throat> the shade, not the shade, the style that I got is in the style Savannah. I don't know if you can see them, but they're just really pretty and they go from um, short to long. They kind of flare out at the ends, which is my favorite style of lash to wear. I love lashes that flare out. So I'm gonna put these on off camera. I need to trim them. I can already tell they're, the band is just a little too long. So I'm gonna put them on off camera and then we're gonna start on the face. Okay, so the lashes are on by the grace of God. I tried to wipe off the green from my finger, but it stained it as you can see. So I'm just like praying that that's not the same for my eyes. But I'm not gonna think about it right now cause it's time to start the face makeup. I really like these lashes by the way. Like I said, these are the Savannah lashes from Feline Lashes. Well, they're feline lashes in the style Savannah, and I really like them like for being so dramatic, especially towards like the ends, how they flare out. They're really light. Like I cannot feel them. Usually some of these lashes, they have bands that are thick and you can really feel them, but these are incredibly light. Like I just, like I know they're there, but I just, I can't, I can't feel them on my eyes. I don't know what I'm saying, but now I'm gonna start on my skin. I'm going to prime my face using my Fenty Beauty Primer haven't used this in a hot minute. It may be a Fenty face today, okay? I have so many Fenty skin products, not Fenty skin, but Fenty beauty products. It might be a Fenty face. So I'm just gonna put that all over my cheeks and my chin. I don't know, I just find that when you use the primer and the foundation from that same brand, it makes such a difference as opposed to just mixing and matching not to say that that doesn't you know that that won't work because i've you know used different primers and foundations from different brands i do it all the time but i don't know okay so now that the primer is on i'm gonna go ahead and use my fenty pro filter foundation i am in the shade 400 and i'm gonna blend that all over my skin using a beauty blender 
that I have not yet dampened. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen that and then blend this out all over my skin. The Beauty Blender is nice and damp. This is actually not a Beauty Blender, it's from Morphe. It's one of their beauty sponges. So I'm just going to pat this foundation all over my skin and then get to blending. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to my concealer. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer this time. Instead of Fenty, I'm gonna use the shade Deep Tan. And I don't think I wanna go too heavy handed like I have in the past with my concealer. I just wanna do just a quick couple of dabs right there. Looking kinda tribal. Put it on the chin, put it on the forehead, and right down the nose. Whoop. And then I'm gonna take that and blend, just dropping everything, just blend it out on the same Morphe sponge. Now to set that concealer that I just put down, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty powder in the shade Banana, and we are just going to lightly pat that all over my cheeks and chin and forehead. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a flat foundation brush, the brush that I always use from Vanity Planet. I'm having trouble finding it because it's back there. Please hold. I found it. So now I'm just gonna pat that lightly as I blend it in onto my cheeks. Looking good in the neighborhood. So now I'm going to take my, I'm like all turned around today. Ugh, this is just driving me nuts. Like, can you tell it's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial? All right, now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna take my tried and true, my favorite, favorite. I can't, first of all, let me go on a little rant. Went into Ulta to try to find this, couldn't find it. Went into Sephora and found it, Ulta. Get it together. Every time I go into Ulta, I'm just reminded of why Sephora is that. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, this is my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the shade Hazelnut. I'm gonna blend it all over my face using my foundation brush from Vanity Planet. I love this. It goes onto my skin like butter. And in the days when I'm just not in the mood to do a lot of foundation like a liquid foundation I'll just use this instead and she does the trick and makes me feel just as full coverage glam as the rest of you All right, moving on to my contour. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle, this pretty deep brown shade. And I'm going to place that right along my cheekbones like so. Then I'm also gonna do, do, do I wanna do a nose contour? Yes, I do, okay.
And then I'm going to blend that out using a e.l.f. small stipple brush. But for my nose contour, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I just gotta grab it. It's a um, actual concealer brush from Vanity Planet. But for my cheeks, I'm gonna use this bad boy. Now we gotta snatch this nose. For that, I'm going to be using this contour brush right here. It is from Vanity Planet. And I'm just going to lightly blend it all out. We're just gonna keep this train moving. So for my bronzer, I decided to go back in with an oldie but a goodie. This is my NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out using my Morphe M527 brush right along my cheeks. I know I said this was a Fenty face, I lied. I have been using my Fenty Sunstalker bronzer religiously. I love it, always have, always will, but don't sleep on NARS, okay? As a woman of color, I can proudly say that I believe that NARS is women of color friendly with their products. I have always found something that works well for me and my skin tone. So if you're on the hunt for a new bronzer and we are like if you know if we're of similar skin tones as well, this one will work for you. Do I want to do blush? No, no, the green with the pink. I'm not trying to look like a clown. Okay, so for my highlight, I decided, I think I want to try out the Fenty highlight. It's part of the Matchstick Trio. It's in the shade Rum. It's this really pretty, like satiny, shimmery bronze, but I just, I don't know how to use this. Like, do I just like pat it on? I don't know. Like, oh, is it like that? Cause I don't wanna like, you know, color, you know, and just like, ooh, ooh. So maybe if I just like pat a little bit, it'll do the trick. It's really pretty. I don't know. I may have to look at a tutorial, how to use the matchstick highlighter trio. Cause I must look like, like I'm like etching away at something, you know, on my skin. I mean, it's kind of cute. I don't want it to look like a streak, so that's why I'm blending it. I still want some drama, so I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the shade Peach Nectar on a Morphe M510 brush, and just add a little bit, you know? Not too much. So the face is done. So now we're gonna go back and hit my lower lash line. So for my lash line, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M508 smudger brush and I'm gonna go back in with this shade, Sarape, right here and just smudge it all across my lower lash line. Okay, that's pretty enough for me. So to highlight my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the Muerte palette because unfortunately the Vita palette doesn't have a shade shimmery enough for me to wanna put it in my inner corner. So I'm gonna grab this shade 
right here. I'm not gonna pronounce it because I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings or offend anybody, but it's this pretty light champagne color right here. C-A-L-A-C-A. -A -A. So that's how it's spelled. I don't know how it's pronounced. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do um, my lower lashes off camera. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lash, Lash Paradise, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and then we're gonna finish up the lips, and that'll be it for this look. So give me a minute, I'm gonna do my lower lash line, and then we can just keep it on, keep, keep this train moving, we're still on the train. All right, the eyes are complete, the face is complete, all that's left is the lips. I am playing with lip liner for the first time in life. I decided to join the lip liner club. So this is my MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. I'm gonna put that all over. Now, if you don't know me well enough, I'm just gonna say this. I may have to say it again, it's okay. If the eyes are crazy, the lips are not. I do not like to do like pow eyes, pow lips. I like to play up one feature or the other. So if the eyes are simple, then the lips are gonna be boop. So because the eyes are crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and do like my signature nude look, but I'm just adding a lip liner. Who is she? We don't know. But like I said, this is my MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. I'm gonna line my lips all around for the first time ever. Like, I did this once before. Hot mess. So, here we go, round two. Wasn't horrible. Wasn't spot on either, but wasn't horrible. So, oh my God, it's right in front of my face. So for my lips, I'm gonna take my favorite nude shade ever, 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 ever. This is my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Raw Chocolate. I love a matte lip moment, I really do. Okay, I am satisfied. So now all that's left is to add some finishing spray. So to set my skin, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This was the first ever um, makeup spray that I ever purchased when I was you know, getting really into makeup a couple years back. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I haven't used this in a hot minute. It's been like all about Smashbox and, and Morphe over here, but here we go. There we go. I should really get a fan. I'm seeing so many girls use fans and I'm just like, <coughs> some got in my mouth. And I'm just like, now I dropped it. And I'm just like, wow, what a smart idea. So I can like stop doing this, you know? I'll get my life together too. All right. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm sorry if I was a bit all over the place. It's just, it's been a hot minute. I'm trying to get my act together. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there, okay? 2020, the roaring 20s, the whoring 20s, I'm going to get this done. And I just can't wait to start doing vlogs for you guys. I'm so excited for you guys to just see another bit of me and my personality and what just makes me who I am, my thoughts and beliefs on my thoughts and beliefs, you know, the works. So anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. And I'll, I'll, I'll have it together, I promise. Bye.